was like the perfect hill to kind of get that exhaust sound. We have a very exciting upload today. Because we are giving away a turbo this month, I have invited a good friend of mine, Devin. He's got an LML Duramax with a 64 millimeter turbo. My LOI right here has a 64 millimeter turbo from Ryan's Diesel Services. Now this video we're gonna be talking about turbos specifically because this is Devin over here. Devin actually uses his truck for towing. For those of you guys that are wondering, like if you win this turbo giveaway, this might help you decide to pick which turbo you should go with. Or if you're wanting to purchase a turbo, maybe we can help you out on uh, which size turbo you should go with. Basically, we're gonna talk about why Devin went with his turbo, and then I'm gonna go talk about why I went with my turbo too. So to begin with, let's do a quick little walk around of your truck, give them I guess some information on your LML. The truck only has uh, for just about 45,000 miles on it. Uh, got deleted at 18,000. Tore the engine down after blowing the head gasket. At how many miles? 24,000. So you had it. You had to delete it for <laughs> six months. Yep. And then you blew a head gasket. Yep. It was my own fault though. On my own fault. My own stupidity. Now it's got ARP racing studs, HSP high flow kit on it, stealth 64 millimeter turbo, fleece ZP3 conversion. It's got the fast lift pump. Old JW helped me out with my lift and five inch straight pipe exhaust all the way back. Well, I think you covered all the performance. This is pretty much how my LML was too when I had it. This is like your proper way to build an LML. It's got the CP3 conversion, high flow kit, EGR has been deleted because I mean, it's junk. It's a good thing that he eliminated it. To me, I kind of compare it as like emissions is like wearing a mask. Yeah, exactly. And then so now this truck is mask free. Yep. So this truck's been it vaccinated. Breathes. Yeah, it breathes. <laughs> it's, it's been vaccinated. He upgraded his turbo. He said Stell 64. So we'll ask him why he went with a 64 millimeter over 67, 68, or you know other turbos out there. So what was your reasoning behind a 64 millimeter? Well, I had a good buddy. He has a Duramax also, and I went to him asking all the questions about what size turbo, because I knew I wanted to do one when we had to tear the engine all the way down. He told me, he's like, well, what do you use your truck for? I told him, hey, I pull a camper three, four times a year. What size camper? 37 foot. According to Robbie, it's a 72 foot, yeah, a 69 it's a, foot. It's 69, something like that. It weighs about 15,000, fully loaded. It's not the heaviest camper out there, but it is big. It's yeah. a huge camper. The amount of wind that oh yeah, the wind deflection on it yeah, is yeah. absolutely terrible. And we we pull mountains and we pull to Destin and other parts of Florida, so it does get its its pulling in when we do do go somewhere. But um, I told him I didn't have the money after all the other upgrades to do injectors. He said the biggest I could go with would be a 64, and he recommended to me the Stealth Turbo because that's what he knew about and mm -hmm. I didn't look up any other turbos because I was just trusting in him and he said that the uh, engine brake is excellent on those, on those uh, stealth turbos going down hills helping it brake and, and it does oh man and it, it screams and it does an amazing job we just got back in November from the mountains and hardly had to hit the brake at all that turbo does an amazing job with the engine brake and sounds good too Yeah, you used to have a muffler, but then this time around, you took the muffler off. Oh, I had to. Yeah, it was, it was restricting it so much, and I didn't know how much until I took it off. <laughs> did, did it actually make the throttle response better? Oh yeah, really? it's like oh yeah. Huh, yeah I didn't, did I didn't a think better. a muffler would really. I wouldn't either, because it's just little rivets in the side. I mean, you can yeah. see straight through it, so I would never have thought the. But when I turned that, when I took it out and set it down, I'm talking about it was like caked in this much soot. Dang. So I don't know if over time it's just. The soot buildup caused it to, you know, the throttle response to go down or what it was, but hey, it's gone now and it drives phenomenal. Dang. But yeah, That's I love awesome. the turbo. It sounds phenomenal and I ain't had a hiccup with it yet, so. Yeah. I personally would go with Ryan's Diesel Services Turbo. That's just because who I've worked with in the past. But I've also worked with Duramax tuners on their tuning, and they, they make really good products. Stell 64 is a really reliable turbo as well, so I wouldn't hesitate to get one. But 
I still prefer Ryan's a little bit. So I would have probably gotten Ryan's yeah. if I would have known about Ryan's. So guys at Duramax Tuners, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still partial to Ryan's Turbo, <laughs> but I, anything else, like you guys make some awesome videos and I, we love, Matt loves your emission compliant tuning. So they do make really good stuff. Stealth is a good turbo. Let's go over the piping. I mean, I guess we'll show everybody the piping. That's a good looking. Yeah, that looks a lot like, that's exact same color as my yeah. one. Yep, it is. I don't know why it looks, yours looks, I guess it's because of the clamps and the, uh, Oh yeah. your other stuff on yours, like the, the uh, Y bands and stuff that make it look a little, little darker. And maybe the truck being gray. Yeah, might go ahead and lighten it up. Let me go ahead and put my truck next to it. Getting two new Optima batteries for it. But these are the AC Delco batteries, so these are pretty stout. Yeah. All right. I just so, put two interstates in mine. Yeah. Interstate batteries are good too. They both have four and a half inch kits, in which mine is turned all the way down. They're both BDS too. Mine's turned all the way down too, but see, I have leveling keys on mine. Oh uh, yeah, I have the stock keys. Yeah. And if you look, like my angle is way flatter. I mean, your angle is still good too, but that's good two inches that you're sitting up taller than mine. And you also got way bigger tires. Look at that. Yeah. It's it's really the tires that makes a huge difference. Yeah, 30, 30s. yeah these are 33s, but um, if you measure them, they're like 31 and a half tall, but they're super wide. Yeah. Which that's what I want anyway. I guess we'll go over your truck first, though. HSP piping. Stell 64 millimeter turbo and uh, if you guys are watching this and you want to upgrade your piping to HSP you can use my discount code you should be able to get about five to ten percent off I can't remember off the top of my head but I'll put it right here oh we put rock lights on your on your hood yeah we got the hood lights heck yeah yeah that looks really good especially at night oh yeah dude. Oh, it's super awesome at night yeah even in the daytime it makes a pretty pretty big difference on how it shines and i don't understand why somebody why a manufacturer would make a truck without a light under the hood well i guess they expected gmc's to not have any issues hey <laughs> it's, it's, it's uh human built it's gonna have issues yes yeah. <laughs> yeah Devin did the because i've been wanting to do that on mine for the longest time and uh i was contemplating on like getting a new whatever that's that's called headliner, headliner. but yeah, at the same time it's like it's, they're pretty pricey that's like three two hundred bucks and i was like do i really want to pay that much for a vehicle that i barely even drive so leave a comment below if you guys think i should buy a new headliner put rock lights on it but here is my loi duramax with hsp piping and 64 millimeter ryan's diesel services turbo sitting right back there behind my homemade pcv reroute kit <laughs> It was 10 bucks from Lowe's okay. and, and I keep telling myself that. I'm gonna redo it. I hardly I hardly drive this truck so I uh, My focus has been on my L5P and doing other content related But I am gonna be focusing on this LOI coming up because we have a six-speed conversion from Duramax tuners I told you guys they make good stuff. So we're doing the six-speed conversion on this LOI So this is gonna be six-speed LOI. So I'm probably gonna call it a LBZ because <laughs> I mean at this point there's, I mean, the major difference between an LOI and LBZ, in my opinion, was the transmission five-speed versus six-speed. And now that I have a six-speed, I'm gonna call it LBZ and piss off a lot of LBZ <laughs> owners. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just to piss everybody off, it's gonna be hilarious. But I have a 64 millimeter turbo, and the reason why I went with 64 is I talked to a lot of guys, and uh, guys like Ryan from Ryan's Diesel Services, Truckmaster, and Dalton Bertrand, they all helped me figure out the size turbo I need Dalton went with a 68 millimeter and uh, his engine bay like his LOI is pretty much all stock like mine he doesn't have bigger pump uh, he doesn't have bigger injectors but he went with the 68 millimeter and he told me that 68 does have good bit of lag when I talked to Truckmaster and Ryan they asked me what my power goals were 
and uh, if I was ever gonna upgrade my injectors or my pump. At the time when I bought this LOI, when I built it, the most I wanted to push was like 650. I wasn't really uh, looking at doing performance stuff on here. So I wasn't really gonna upgrade the injectors. I wasn't really gonna upgrade the pump. So they said 64 millimeter would be perfect because I wouldn't have to upgrade my fuel. And it's still gonna give me that pretty much like stock turbo throttle response. There won't be any turbo lag like a 68 millimeter. But as I've owned this truck for about two years, I think my injectors and my CP3 is about to, it, it might need some upgrading in the, in the future. I can already kind of tell it idles, uh, it surges at idle and uh, it could be the fuel pressure regulator. But at this point it's got 220,000 miles. If I'm going to do all the work to replace the fuel pressure regulator, I may just upgrade the pump to like a 10 millimeter pump. Yeah, 10, oh you got a 10 millimeter pump? Okay. Fleece 10 millimeter. So uh, yeah, he's got a fleece 10 millimeter. So I was like, you know, at that point, and then I may upgrade the injectors to maybe 15% over. 15 would be good for daily. Oh yeah, well, I'm just gonna do whatever it requires to, I guess, push the 64 millimeter turbo to its limit. But then again, I'm gonna have to build my transmission too, because oh, I, yeah. I think my transmission it needs to be rebuilt. Let's see how it goes once I do the six-speed conversion and see how it handles. But if I'm pushing a lot of power and if I'm starting to have fun with it, then I'm gonna need to build trans and I gotta do head gasket. That's like Everything I just said is like 20 grand. <laughs> like I don't have 20 grand right now. So I, I need to sell a lot more hoodies and t-shirts before <laughs> I can afford to, afford to do all that work. So just head over to jwmoresportsco.com, get some t-shirts, hats, uh, knives, get entered for the turbo. Uh, and proceeds, I started doing like give back videos. So proceeds will go towards building other people, their vehicles. So it's all gonna be for a good cause. and. It's some of the money will go towards content as well. Yeah, that was my reasoning for going with the 64 millimeter turbo. Here is my engine bay. It looks very, very similar to Devin's. The only difference is- I don't have this pipe. The coolant pipe? The coolant pipe, yep. And uh, my clamps are powder coated. Yeah, I wish I would have thought about mm -hmm. that. And your HHSP yeah. is powder coated. Yeah, so my accent pieces are gold. Don't they glow in the dark too? No, I don't think so. This is what they glow in the dark. I don't think anybody's. Yeah, that we somebody's know. did. That we know? Yeah, well, that I know. I can't oh. remember who the. Their HSP and all. Oh, glued cool. And all their clamps glued in the dark. Dang. It was super cool. That's legit. I can't think of who it was. Though. Oh, and then if you guys, let's say if you don't win the turbo and if you want to buy a turbo from Ryan's Diesel Services, use the promo code JW Montoya and you get 5% off. So. When we ordered the L5P Turbo for Donnie, we saved like 150 bucks. So 5% goes a long way. Yeah, it does. So this is my engine bay setup, and she whistles like crazy. And I'm sure Devin's whistles like crazy too. So we're gonna get some, we're about to go out and get some drive-bys and uh, show you guys what his truck sounds like. And then I'm gonna put some sound clips of what my LOI sounds like. but it's also now overpowering to where it's annoying. But then again, when you're pulling your camper, it's probably a different story. Oh yeah, I mean, you turn the, you pull the windows up, you can't hear it at all. Okay, that's good. So Devin's truck has a side exit. So I bet it sounds really good when you're uh, driving next to uh, a yeah. wall. Yeah, man. Hit the horn. Oh wait, no, there's a cop. 
That was a like, you know what I want you to do. I was like, hey, let me hit the horn. <laughs> accelerates and the throttle sensitivity wow I, I'm, I'm blown away Ha, ha, ha.